Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a set of course and mods, particularly vehicles, to your game. If you guys did not already know, this is a pretty, pretty simple step and it is very, very easy to do and you will not need to watch another video to remember how to do it. It's really, really simple. The only requirements is obviously a set of Corsa and then next is Content Manager. If you guys do not have Content Manager, then all you guys got to do is go watch my video on how to install mods to a set of Corsa and that will show you guys how to do it. But as always, I'll leave the links down in the description below to the car I'm going to be showing you guys how to install today. You can use the exact same car or a different car. Either way, it is exactly the same. So all you guys are going to want to do is choose the website you want to download your cars from. Could be anywhere. I particularly use Race Department. Really, really nice place to use. And all you guys got to do is head over here and click download. For some reason, I'm not logged in. So I'm going to go do that real quick. So as you guys can see, now I'm logged in. I do have a download button. So all you guys are going to want to do is head over here and click download. On any car, it's the exact same. And just save to your directory. You are going to need WinZip or WinRAR. It doesn't really matter. Either way, it's exactly the same. It might take a little while for some reason my connections to these servers are particularly bad. It might just be the servers to the UK or whatever, but they are pretty bad. So it depends on your data and speed on the server. It might take a while, it might not, but I'm going to cut back to once it's finished downloading. So once your guys' download has finished installing, all you guys want to do is open up your downloads folder or wherever your downloads go. So for me, it's right here. And then simply, all you guys got to do is open up your content manager bring up your content manager and this is such a simple way of doing it it's way better than installing it on any other game it's so useful having content manager let me grab content manager from my other screen here and all you guys are going to want to do is simply keep an eye on this little tab here drag and drop this zip file straight on in and you should see it lights up green to automatically find the correct files to install into your game and literally, that is all you guys need to do. So if you wait a couple of seconds, it will say it's found seven items. And you can see what the items are. Hit install. And it's really, really quick at installing and unpacking the files as well. So that's really, really awesome. So it will install it all just like that. And it shouldn't take very long whatsoever. If it does take a little bit longer, that might be because the file is a little bit bigger. Some cars do have different ways of modeling with higher polys and stuff like that. So it could be a reason like that. It could be higher quality in general. It really just depends on the car and sometimes the size and stuff like that, file size. But just like that, it'll say it's installed. And now if you go into your files, you guys should be able to see that if you guys find it right here, there is the car we just installed with all the liveries and everything on it. It's really, really awesome. Really, really cool mod as well. I haven't saw this before, but I deleted it for the sake of the video. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. Please be sure to drop a like and be sure to check out all my other videos. I did previously do GTA 5. I'm still doing GTA 5 and LSPFR and stuff like that. But I just decided to take a little bit of a break from it. But I hope you guys did find this video useful. I'll see you guys in the next one.